Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. You know what I got for you today? 1968 Coronet, 383 under the hood, 500 on the grill. She's looking sweet, man. That grill is looking like it's brand new. That front bumper is looking like it's brand new. And that deep green paint is looking sweet. The bottom side of this car is just about as pretty as the top side. She is gorgeous. And wait till you see it up under the hood, man. Beautiful job. The interior is gorgeous. We're going to take a look at that right now. As you look down the side of it, the stance is perfect. She is looking sweet. The body work on the car, straight as an arrow. The vinyl top, I love these Mopar vinyl tops. Kind of looks like alligator skin. Look at this interior, man. Look at the door jam. Look at the time they spent on that. I mean, they spent hours painting that and doing the metal work and all that. Then the rubber's new, the door panel looks good, the armrest looks good, the chrome on the armrest looks good. That's always looking like crap on a lot of these cars. The uh, chrome on the vent window here too looking good. That wood steering wheel's looking sweet. The center console, as you can see, it's an automatic car. We got some extra gauges in there. We got seat belts in the front and in the rear. These bucket seats, a lot of these cars had bench seats in them. That back seat looks like it's never been set in. Big old package tray there. Headliner looking good. Dome lights working. Man, she's beautiful. And that dash itself, man, I already did the driving video or sitting at the door running because it's nasty outside right now, so we're not doing the driving video. We don't want to take this beauty out in an ugliness. I'm going to grab the keys so I can pop open that trunk. That's one important thing whenever you're looking at one of these cars, really any car, especially a Mopar, you got to look in the trunk. And look at this tail panel in the back. Isn't that sweet? Just absolutely gorgeous car. And what's cool is you don't see these very much. You see Chargers, you see Roadrunners, but these Coronet 500s, you just don't see them. Okay, we got the battery mounted in the trunk here. Looks like we got a stock appearing uh, air cleaner in there too, even though it's got a little aluminum air cleaner on it now. You always want to raise up that rug and look underneath there. You can see that this has been all cleaned up. It looks like it's got some poor 15 on it. Real nice rug in here. Beautiful work on the bottom side of the deck lid. Again, check the lips. Check this very bottom lip. See how this chrome strip kind of wraps down and ties up in there? Water used to stand in there. So that's an important area to look at on any of these cars. As you look down the passenger side, you can see straight as can be. And again, the stance on the car is just killer. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this car. So you know we did our homework and checked it out before we bought it. Then the first thing we do to every car is we get them up on the lift and inspect them so we know exactly what to tell you when you call us and start asking questions. So call Tom right now at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you all you need to know about this car. We're inside this baby now and it is nasty outside so we're not driving it outside today. I love the wood steering wheel in this thing and look at the dash on this thing. I tell you anybody who uh, shops these things ever and you know knows these cars know that these dashes just never look this nice. Now it's got aftermarket uh, heating and air conditioning controls here. Uh, it looks like it's got the stock radio in it. We've got the AC vents here. I mean, the finish on the dash looks good. We've got aftermarket gauges here. Of course, it's an automatic. Center console's in great shape. I mean, just an amazing vehicle. And we can ship this thing anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Now, we're going to get it up in the air. We're going to show you exactly what the bottom side looks like also. 
All right, we're underneath this Mopar now, and man, is she pretty under here. Look at that tank. Fresh paint job on the tank, and look at the frame, man. You always got to check out these lower frames here and check out where the spring mounts up there. Look at that trunk floor. You really got to check out the trunk floors on these things. I tell you what, we got breather hoses here. We got brand new exhaust here, and I love how they tuck that out. The spring packs look like they're rebuilt units. They got a nice paint job on the rear end here. We got right around a 391 gear in here. Um, now on the brakes, the guys pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. We got new brake lines here. We got the fuel filter here. This is the uh, 742 case. I already told you it is a sure grip and it is a 391. Now look at this, man. Look at the way they frame tied this thing. I tell you what, it looks like Mr. Chrysler himself did this. What a beautiful job they did on this. That is about like a piece of three inch by inch and a half tubing. Really cool job. Then they got a drive shaft loop here, which is cool. And it also looks like it belongs here. We got a new fuel line here. We got new brake lines here. Just everything on this thing is looking sweet. 727 automatic trans. That's a three speed automatic for those of you who don't know that. Uh, we got jet coated headers here. They look like they got just a tiny bit of age to them. Still looking sweet. All the steering gears all painted up looking good. The floorboards up here look good. These Mopars, you want to look at the frame right up in this area too. Make sure it's in good working order. Um, nice and clean. You can see that all the steering components up here are all nice and clean. Big sway bar here, new bushings. Looks like new shocks. We got disc brakes up front. And again, the guys will check out those disc brakes. We got the K member here all painted up looking good. Uh, sway bar bushings up here is looking good. Core support looks good. Filler panels also all painted up. Bumpers just as clean on the back as it is on the front. I mean, the, look at the wheelhouse there. Can you see that with the light? Look how clean that is. Now you're gonna have to get up in there with the garden hose and scrub brush whenever you take this thing out, make sure that gets that clean again. I'm gonna come check. This thing is sweet. We got brand new Magnum 500s on it, 225, 60, 15s. As you work your way down the rocker, the rocker molding looks good. If you can get a finger in here behind the front fender, again, that's one of the spots that starts to rust. This one's nice and clean. The pinch well's looking sweet. The bottom side of the rocker is just as clean as can be. Now, normally there's a, a mating surface right here where the quarter mates into the quarter, uh, into the rocker. Looks like somebody has smoothed all that out, made that all go away. Out back here, these Mopars are cool because you can put a lot of tire out back. We got 275, 60, 15s. Again, some brand new Magnums, new wheel lip moldings, and that wheel well there looking sweet. And right here, this is where she does her talking, right there, guys. Now we're going to get under the hood and see what's making it talk. All right, 383 power here. It is not numbers matching. You can see the MSD distributor here, the cool Mopar uh, valve covers. You can see those big tube headers are all jet coated, looking good. It's got a Performer RPM aluminum uh, intake on it. I do believe that is, if I remember correctly, that is a 750 um, Holley carburetor. It is dual feed, it is vacuum secondaries. Looks like it's got a manual choke on it, but it is not hooked up. We got a uh, cooler here, probably for the trans. We got our condenser here for the AC. We got a big aluminum radiator, keeping it nice and cool. We got an aftermarket uh, set up here on the AC compressor. Looks like an aluminum water pump. All the belts look new. The pulleys are all nice and clean. We got a good looking electric fan on here. The inner wheelhouses and the firewall have all been painted body collar and they did a beautiful job doing that. As you can tell, I love this car. We got MSD spark box here. We got an MSD coil. We do have power steering and we do have power brakes. She's gorgeous, guys. She's a Mopar. She's got a 383 in her. It's an automatic. Bottom side is beautiful. Give us a call, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this stream in your drive.